Okay, this is the fifth video. Uh, one of the things I wanted to mention was that I'm doing all of this work on the new layer. Notice that when I turn this layer off, the red lines disappear. Okay, now we're going to look at selection boxes, which is this tool over here, the rectangle select tool. And I'm going to draw a rectangle across everything. And I'm going to also change the background and the foreground a little bit. Okay, so whenever I delete something, the background is going to be blue. That's what's going to come up. So, I got this selection box here and I have the new layer selected. What happens when I cut something away? Well, it's a transparent layer, so it doesn't use the background. And it just deletes the red. Notice that it doesn't delete the text that I wrote, and it doesn't delete anything from the background. So let's undo that. Select a different layer, this time the text layer. Do a cut. And notice it cuts away the text from that layer, but not the other text layer and nothing else. And also the red lines are still there because the select is applied only to the layer that's active at that time. We'll undo that cut, select the other text, and obviously when we do a cut, now we cut some text out of the other text box, the other text layer, I should say. We'll undo that. And now we're going to select the background. When I do a cut, it gets rid of the foreground color which was white or the color that was white and replaces it with the background color so this is now the background is now blue so now we're going to undo that cut so that's the basics of selections and cutting and it shows how the main point I want to make is that selections are applied only to the layer that's active at any given time